with 17.7 remaining. It's obvious that the free throws just went over. If they start to miss them, they'll open the door just a bit for the Lakers. And a smart job by Docker is making Rondo the inbound passer. Your worst free throw shooter, make him the passer, and then Pierce could have held the basketball. Instead, a willing passer takes off some clock, gives it to Garnett, a good free throw shooter. Ray Popovich of San Antonio does the same thing with Tim Duncan late. He doesn't take him out. And they are going to have to see if he makes him the inbounder. Similar to what Marshall said about Rondo. And that was huge. He makes it a seven-point game. Obviously, for the Lakers coming the other way, they've got to look for three points. And you see Wallace going back. He hurt himself in the fourth quarter earlier. That feels this one's over. It certainly looks like it now. And Joe Jackson will call time out. With 17.7 remaining. And the Celtics holding a comfortable eight-point lead. What a fourth quarter for them from here on the left floor after the disappointing loss in game three. They do what they've done all season. They bounce back such a resilient team. And they've been led by their bench. Especially Glenn Davis. But the Celtics strike 34 points in the fourth quarter. If they finish this off, it's going to be because of the killer teams tonight. The bench and the court. Those two things carried the night when they were struggling offensively. Yeah, look at those numbers. It was a defensive-oriented game. Low scoring. They trailed by 262-60 after three. But terrific shooting. And it was a big man called Big Baby who led the charge. Glenn Davis. Magnificent tonight, 18 points, 5 rebounds, 7 of 10 from the field, and 9 points here in his fourth period. And you see the bench, just superb for the second. And you're a basketball fan, you know how it's supposed to end. You're talking about guys stepping up, a much needed win for the Celtics, on the road, found the way to get it done. And it started with the bench. Nate Robinson coming in. Sell job getting into the paint area and scoring. Big Baby Davis all night long playing with four and with Patch. Great read by Tony Allen. Hitting the team. It's a big hand one in the paint area. Again, Allen distributing this time to Rasheed Wong. Shooting a long range jump shot. Everybody on the bench had an impact on this one. And Lakers are trying to go up 3-1 in this series. No team in the NBA Finals has ever recovered from being down 3-1. But it appears that will not be the case. And looks like we're going to have an NBA Finals tied at 2-2 for the first time since 2006. Back in 08 when the Celtics beat the Lakers, they were up 3-1. Same thing last year, Lakers up 3-1 against Orlando. Launches a three. Long go, he's got a second by three. He kicks back out. Ryan puts up the three. And Ryan goes in. Makes it a five-point game with 11 seconds. Pierce releases. Gets up for the foul. And it's going to be fouled by Bryant. And that will do it. And it's still just leading by five with nine and a half seconds to go. And Pierce will go to the line. Pierce with 17 points. And again, the starters, 17 to Pierce, 12 rounds, 10 to Rondo, 13 to Garnett. But it was the self-defense that won this game here in the fourth quarter. And we got to give credit to Tony Allen also. Struggled offensively, but did a great job defending Kobe Bryant when he's inserted in the ball game. I met his daughter at the hotel. She said, give my daddy a shout-out. The name is Tiki, and she should be awfully proud of what her dad did against the best player in the world. Was she the defensive stance <laughs> when she was talking to you? Because her dad is in the stance. Now, I question a lot of the things he did offensively tonight, but on the defensive end, he was sound and solid. We don't just give shout-outs. you got to earn shout-outs. <laughs> Looking to add to the total. 9689. Here's turning in late in the fourth, like most of the starters. Doc Rivers left with the bench. Much of his fourth quarter, and he was rewarded. Ryan flips it up. Again, to rebound. 